Hello everybody and welcome to Talking Flutes Extra with me, Jean-Paul Wright. Before we begin, a quick shout out must go to our podcast sponsors, TJ Flutes, for their wonderful support each week. You can show them some flute love by visiting them on Instagram at TJ Flutes, Facebook at Trevor James Flutes and at tjflutes.com. This week is an odd podcast and believe me, I really don't say this lightly. After 263, yes, that many, flute-focused pods released every Monday for the last six years, I've been thinking about what different angles we can take to keep you lovely listeners engaged. You continue to be so wonderful with your support for Talking Flutes that, if I'm honest, I'm rather loathed to go too far off-piste, but I'm going to cover a lot of this in this podcast to see whether we can actually take it in a different direction. My co-host, Claire, is the renowned flute player, author and professor, and so I would certainly not have asked for her to get involved in any potential shenanigans here, even though and I'm saying this quietly to you, I reckon she would have been up for a laugh. So why do this? Well, it's been the excellent viewer download analytics with the shorter Talking Flutes Bite Size, which has persuaded me that you lovely people were possibly open to a little change. And so I sat down on an English beach in South Devon last month, dodging the inevitable heavy showers and let what creative grey matter that still works in my head come up with a suggested tester pod for you to listen to. I was actually enjoying a pretty relaxed week away, despite the record rainfall down there, and so it surprisingly only took a couple of minutes until a nucleus of an idea arose. Then their heavens suddenly opened again, and I got completely soaked. The question I then had to answer, whilst trudging back up the hill to my car in the driving rain, was how would I create the content, and how would I actually integrate it into a podcast? And so let me set the scene for a moment. It started with a short sketch that I saw online a few months ago, where a comedian was saying how boring podcast introductions were. They may have wonderful and popular content, but you had to navigate past the opening. Until he got into the actual podcast content. I suppose it's just like social media videos when you're meant to not turn off the audience as soon as you start. Do you know, I don't know if I've been doing this all these years, but hey ho, let's go. The comedian then proceeded to make up a few very comedic introductions to a podcast, which I later found out to be completely fictional. But the whole process really interested me, as his openings would actually have made me want to listen to the episode, if it was real. So, sat on the beach, yep, we're still back on the beach, and yes, before I got wet, it got me thinking. This is a flute podcast, and for those outside of the flute world, it must be a little strange to have a channel which has recorded so many pods on the sole subject of a strange sideways blowing tube. But, that said, could I take inspiration from that comedian and mess around with a Talking Flutes introduction? Hmm. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, I thought. And so, in this pod, I'd like to give you a selection of eight potential new openings to our Talking Flutes podcast to see if, perchance, any resonate with you. If this week you're after insightful information on flute performance or tips and hints on flute practice, then this podcast is certainly not for you. Feel totally and completely free to stop listening now if you don't want to hear me attempting to speak in strange voices or using weird words. If you're still here and haven't yet switched off, then I presume that you're fully on board and potentially invested with what's going to be an odd Talking Flutes Extra podcast this week. With ideas garnered from this old geezer's head while sitting on that wet beach, here's the first of eight podcast openings. <coughs> mm-hmm. uh-huh. <coughs> Number one, this first one, will be said in the style of a pirate. 
Ahoy, me heart is. Welcome aboard the Talking Flutes podcast, where we sail the high seas of music with our trusty flutes as our musical treasure. I be your captain for this here journey, so you can call me Captain Flutefinger. Now, you might be wondering why a swashbuckling pirate like myself be hosting a podcast about flutes. Well, you see, I be a flute enthusiast who sailed the seven seas, navigated the Moise studies, and have discovered some of the magical powers of this here flute. I also be wanting to share the joy of the flute with all ye land nubbers out there. So, whether ye be a seasoned flutist or a curious land nubber, join me on this musical voyage as we explore the world of flutes, from the classical tunes of the great composers to the groovy jams of modern music. We'll be chatting with fellow adventurers, sharing tips and tricks for playing the flute like a true buccaneer and having a barrel of laughs along the way. But beware me art is, ye may find yourself caught in a musical spell as the sweet melodies of the flute enchant ye. So hoist the jolly Roger, grab your flutes and let's set sail on this swashbuckling adventure with talking flutes. Ye be in for a musical treat like no other me art is. Arr! Number two out of eight for your audible delectation this week is the Talking Flutes opening in the style of a cockney. And that's somebody born in the East End of London within the sound of bow bells. Also, the accent for the rather well known in flute circles, little piece of red china. The little red cup. Here we go. All right, mates, here we are gathering around for a right old chimwag about the finest musical contraptions this side of the Thames, the Talking Flutes podcast. I've changed the name of this podcast to be more relevant to us Londoners, so welcome to me new podcast called Fluting and Chewing the Fet, where we'll be delving deep into the world of these cheeky little devils that can whistle, warble and wail like nothing else. You heard me piccolo playing. <laughs> I'm your host, and I've been playing these jazzy pipes for yonks, so I reckon I know a thing or two about them. From classical melodies to jazz grooves, from the streets of East End to the Royal Albert Hall, we'll be exploring the history, the tricks of the trade, and the stories behind these magical musical gizmos. So strap on your dancing clogs, grab a cuppa, and let's dive into the world of talking flutes with a bit of cockney flair, eh? Let's get fluting and chewing the fat. Cheers! Now, I've nearly lost my voice after doing those first two intros. And let's move on to a slightly different style. And number three of a potential new intro is very much more challenging for me, as it is said in the style of a French composer. Now, I may have a French Christian name. Just let me say, this one is not easy for Ah, mes amis, welcome to my podcast, which is now to be called The Enchanted Flute. We French flute players love to change things, and I'm feeling that your Talking Flutes podcast title is Catastrophe, and needs a new, how do you say it in English, more romantic type of title. I am your host, and I am inspired by the great French composers who have brought to light these marvellous instruments. From Debussy to Ravel, from classical to contemporary music, in these podcasts we will explore the captivating sounds and magical technique of these talking flutes that charm the ears of the world. We will discover the history, challenges and secrets of these melodious instruments that transport us on a unique musical journey. So, sit back, pour yourself a glass of wine, and let us be carried away by the enchanted beauty of the talking flute, with a touch of French elegance that only we can give. Welcome to the enchanted flutes. Merci beaucoup. Let's look at the next intro, number four which is quite relevant, bearing in mind the recent coronation of King Charles III. Here's the Talking Flutes podcast opening, written in the style of a member of the British aristocracy. I'm just going to have to stand up and do my buttons up, top collar up, put a tie on. Actually, I don't have a tie, but 
pretend I'm putting my tie on, top hat on, and there we go. Greetings, esteemed listeners, and welcome to the illustrious Talking Flutes podcast. I am your gracious host, Flute Duke of Piccadilly Circus, and it is with great pleasure that I extend my warmest welcome to all those of you with a refined taste for the fine art of flute playing. As a close friend of the royal family, one has always appreciated the delicate melodies that can be achieved with this exquisite instrument. From the grand ballrooms of Buckingham Palace to the serene gardens of Windsor Castle, the enchanting notes of the flute have graced many royal affair. On this podcast, we shall embark on a musical journey fit for a king or queen, exploring the rich history and repertoire of the flute. From the classical opuses of the esteemed composers to the modern interpretations of contemporary musicians. We shall converse with esteemed guests who share our passion for this exquisite instrument and gain insights into their virtuoso performances. With the utmost propriety, we shall also discuss techniques, practice regimes and the nuances of flute playing at the highest level. We shall also delve into the world of flute craftsmanship with a discerning eye for the finest materials and craftsmanship that befit a royal instrument. So whether you are a seasoned flute player or an aspiring musician with royal aspirations, join me on this regal podcast adventure as we explore the majestic world of flutes. It shall truly be a symphony of elegance and refinement, worthy of the most discerning ears. I extend therefore my deepest gratitude to all those who accompany me on this distinguished musical endeavour. May the melodious echoes of the flute resound through the halls of nobility and bring joy to all who listen. God save the flute. Long live the Talking Flutes podcast. How could any text where we're messing around with the copy not include a style of Billy? Moving on to intro number five, in the style of William, no doubt Bill to his buddies, Shakespeare. Not the easiest opening to script out, but let's see how I do. Ready? <clears throat> let's put that thespian voice on. Hark, fair listeners, and lendeth me thine ears. Forsooth, I am Fluteus, thy humble host, in this grand stage of talking flutes, where we shall revel in the art of music's charms. Like Puck, the mischievous sprite of a midsummer night's dream, the flute doth play its magic tunes, enchanting all who hear. From Hamlet's sombre soliloquies to Romeo's ardent serenades, the flute doth it tones, doth weave a tale of wondrous cheer. We shall traverse the musical realm, exploring every nook and cranny, from the timeless classics of yore to the modern airs of today with merry conversations with fellow minstrels who share their wisdom and their artful way. We shall unravel the mysteries of technique like a masterful soliloquy and delve into the secrets of breath control and finger dexterity as we unravel the bardic sonnets of flute playing with passion and prowess and meticulous clarity, but soft The flute's sonorous voice doth speak In tones that echo through the ages with grace Like Juliet's sweetest whispers to her Romeo Or Lear's heart-rendering cries in a desolate place So don thy doublet and hose and join us on this stage As we celebrate the flute's symphonic poetry With Shakespearean eloquence and musical prowess We shall also revel in the beauty of this minstrelsy Mark yon calendar and tuneth in and on to this verily wondrous talking flutes display where flute and art shall entwine in perfect harmony in a performance worthy of the bard's own play. Fare thee well, kind listeners, till we meet anon on the grand stage of talking flutes where the music's glory shines bright in the immortal words of Shakespeare himself. If music be the food of love, play on. Let us therefore embark on this melodious journey with hearts and ears alight. Now intro six is one for the oldies out there. 
as it's in the style of Monty Python. Enough of my singing. My voice is starting to go already, as you can tell. Here we go. Talking Flutes introduction in the style of Monty Python. And now for something completely different. The Talking Flutes podcast. Join me, the illustrious Flute Python, as we embark on a wacky and whimsical adventure into the worlds of flutes. <laughs> Expect the unexpected, folks. We'll have silly sketches about flutists or flute players, whatever you like to call yourself, who've lost their way in the practice room and end up playing their instruments upside down. That's an easy thing to do, isn't it? We'll have absurd interviews with flute-playing parrots who've mastered the art of squawking in perfect pitch, which is more than I can say about more than one piccolo together, and we'll have utterly ridiculous performances of flute concertos played on rubber chickens. We'll also have the impossible being made possible, 12 piccolo twigs playing in perfect tune. Impossible. But that's not all, folks. We'll also have some truly bizarre flute techniques, like circular breathing <laughs> while juggling flamingos or playing the flute with our noses. Yes, you heard that right. <laughs> We'll explore the mysteries of the elusive double-tonguing technique using nothing but a kazoo or a kazoo playing walrus. I can't actually do that one. And we'll even have a flute-off between a human flute player and an AI flutist programmed with the entire collections of Mozart's flute music. And of course, we'll have our signature Monty Python-style humour with witty wordplay, clever puns and absurd situations that will leave you wondering what's actually going on. We'll have the Ministry of Silly Flutes, not silly walks, but silly flutes, where we'll discuss the most preposterous flute-related laws from around the world. We'll have the Flute Lumberjack song, where we'll all serenade you with a hilarious ditty about a flute player who's also a lumberjack on the side. And we'll also have the Holy Grail of Flutes, where we'll go on a quest to find the legendary golden flute guarded by a ferocious Coron Glay player. Join us on this wild and wacky adventure into the flute world, Monty Python style. We'll have you laughing, scratching your head and questioning your sanity. But most of all, we'll have you entertained from start to finish. It's a flutastic extravaganza, this podcast thing, that'll leave you in stitches and craving for more. Don't miss out, my fellow friends. Hello? Is anybody actually still listening to this podcast? I wonder if I'm just talking to myself now. Anyway, rapidly moving on to Talking Flutes podcast introduction number seven. This time in a literally impossible version, in the style of an alien. Greetings, Earthlings. I am Zorb, an extraterrestrial traveller hailing from the far reaches of the cosmos. Where's this voice come from? Anyway, here we go. I have journeyed across galaxies to bring you a unique and otherworldly experience on my podcast, Talking Flutes. Today, we delve into the mysterious realm of actual flutes that talk, a captivating phenomenon that has piqued my interstellar curiosity. These curious instruments emit sounds that are both familiar and alien, evoking emotions I have never encountered on my intergalactic travels. From their enchanting melodies to the mesmerising techniques, these flutes are a testament to the diverse and awe-inspiring musicality of your planet. They are held in a strange position by sad-looking humanoids whose mouths are always at a downward angle. Join me as we embark on a sonic odyssey to unravel the secrets of these fascinating talking flutes and discover the interstellar magic they hold within. So, prepare for a celestial journey of sound and wonder as we explore the world of talking flutes on Flutes from Beyond. Beam me up, fluties! <laughs> 
Gosh, 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 gosh. And after that failed attempt, it's really not long now before you can go and do something more interesting with your day. We have, for your delectation, the opening to the Talking Flutes podcast finally said in the style of Star Wars. Now, that's going to be an interesting one. Anyway, here we go. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. Welcome, fellow travellers, to the Force, to Flutes of the Galactic Symphony podcast. I am your Jedi Maestro, and today we embark on a musical adventure that transcends the stars. Deep in the heart of the galaxy, there exists a phenomenon that has captured the imagination of Jedi and Sith alike. Talking flutes. These mystical instruments possess a power that resonates with the Force, producing melodies that can move planets and stir souls. From their ancient origins to the modern incarnations, we will explore the legendary tales of talking flutes that have echoed across the cosmos. We'll unlock the secrets of their enchanting techniques and delve into the intergalactic harmonies they create. So ignite your lightsabers, tune your senses to the Force, and join me on this epic quest as we discover the untold stories of real talking flutes. May the Force, or flutes, be with us, always. Gosh, we actually made it. For those of you that have been brave enough or sad enough to actually get to the end of this podcast with me, did any of them actually work for you or are they literally just a daft waste of time? I'm sure you'll let me know your thoughts either with high praise and applause or via total admonishment. And you can do this by emailing us at flutepodcasts at gmail.com or via our socials, Talking Flutes on Instagram and Facebook. You'll be glad to know that that's it, my dear friends, for this week. Next week, I'm back again with another Talking Flutes Bite Size episode, which is of more interesting nature for all you fluties out there. It's on the subject of Louis Lot flutes. Until then, may your week ahead be musically fulfilling and your high notes even more in tune than usual. Cheerio, everybody. Talking Flutes and Talking Flutes Extra are podcast productions by the Trevor James Flute Company. For more information, visit trevorjamesflutes.com.